since the start of uh, 2014, the situation has been going worse and worse. In today's Iraq, over two million displaced were forced to, to leave their homes, to leave all their possessions and seek refuge in other governorates. During my last field trip to, uh, to the Hook, to Khanke camp, where there was more than 13,000 families, I managed to discuss with uh, some family members who told me, for example, how it was so difficult for them to reach this camp. Some have went up to uh, Mount Sinjar, then had to travel for at least 72, 72 hours to reach uh, the, the camp in such a difficult situation and in need of everything, basically. And that's what pushes the teams of the Red Cross and other humanitarian organizations to respond to those uh, needs. So as the winter season started in Iraq and the rainy season as well, the displaced will, have, will be living harsher conditions. The, the ICRC teams in the field have started already major distributions for families affected by this uh, winter season by distributing stoves, blankets, winter clothing, other humanitarian activities that are equally important, uh, that touch lives and dignities of many people affected by previous wars or ongoing uh, violence. Uh, we continued uh, our visits to places of detention. We also continued our support and training for physical rehabilitation centers across Iraq but also other important projects such as the support to the Medical Legal Directorate, its training and capacity building, as well as our continuous engagement and uh, serious commitment to continue working on the missing file, on the missing from the Iraq-Iran war, but also the Gulf War. But also looked, for example, at the needs of farmers uh, affected by this violence, by the armed conflict, and distributed simple things, seeds, uh, for example, to sustain their livelihood and benefit their own families, but also people who have been hosted by these, uh, these farmers. But one of the main challenges that we face is basically being able to access all the places uh, that uh, or scenes of uh, continuous violence or, uh, or conflict these days. Access has not been ideal uh, for the teams at the Red Cross. We've managed to get quite close uh, to those affected by this violence and conflict. The International Red Cross has also a role to remind all parties, all those carrying weapons and have a say or control over uh, communities or civilian population, to respect basic principles of humanitarian law, to protect civilians and protect basically all those providing humanitarian assistance or providing health services, ambulances, but also health structures from the effects of this violence.